Because God's never going to let you be alone for long. God's going to make sure that he sends someone who may not have gone through exactly what you went through, but they understand the power that's working down on the inside of you. The women in this room are not just ordinary women. The women in this room are reminders that you are not going to be alone for long because God is raising up women everywhere to take their places at his table. And Lazarus and Jesus now, because they have shared in this moment and they've shared in this power, they both have targets on their back. Lazarus wasn't even someone who was being hunted down until he experienced the power of God. Who would I be if I did not prepare you? for the fact that transformation puts a target on your back. It makes you stand out. And it makes you an enemy to the enemy. But I am reminded of Genesis 3 and 15. When God put enmity between the woman and the serpent, and he told that woman in that moment that I'm going to put enmity between you and the serpent. And that at the end of the day, the serpent is going to bruise your heel. But when it's all said and done, if you would dare to produce, even with a target on your back, if you would dare to produce, even though you are the only woman, if you would dare to produce that wholeness, if you would dare to produce that book, if you would dare to produce that ministry, then when you get finished producing, it's going to look so much like Jesus that it's going to bruise the head of the serpent. I wish somebody understood the power of bruised heels still crushing the serpent's heads. I wish someone understood the power of what happens when we recognize that at the end of the day I may be a target, but no weapon formed against me will prosper.